Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you how to fix the error code 0x800700b7-0x2008 on Windows 11. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to use the Windows Update Troubleshooter. Now to do this press the Windows button and then select the settings icon and afterwards make sure that system is selected on the left pane and then on the right side scroll down until you find the troubleshoot category and click on it. Now in here click on other troubleshooters and the last thing you have to do is click on the run button next to Windows update. Windows will now try to detect any issues and fix them as soon as possible. You can then close these windows, restart your computer and check to see if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to restart the Windows Update Service. Now to do this press the Windows button then simply type services and select it as an application from the search results. In here as you can see the list is quite big so if you want to choose a specific service make sure to click on a random one and then type the first letter of the service that you're looking for. In our case it's W. Then scroll down until you find the Windows Update service, double click on it and as you can see this is the window that contains the properties of Windows Update. Now the first thing you have to make sure in here is that the startup type is set to automatic and then if the service is running you can try to stop it by clicking on the stop button. Now wait for a bit and then restart it by clicking on the start button. And now the last thing you have to do is simply click on apply and ok to save the changes, close this window, restart your computer and then check to see if the problem still persists. Next, another useful solution is to run DISM and SFC scans. Now to do this press the windows button then type in cmd and then run command prompt as an administrator. Now in here just make sure to copy paste or type in the following commands from the description below and then press enter after each command. Note that the scans can take a bit of time so don't lose any patience. Afterwards just restart your computer and check to see if the problem is solved. And lastly another useful solution is to perform a clean boot. Now to do this press the windows button then simply type msconfig and then select system configuration from the search result. In here the first thing that you have to do is simply uncheck the box next to load startup items then move on by clicking on the services tab. The first step in here is to tick the box next to hide all Microsoft services and now what you have to do is click on the disable all button. Now the last thing you have to do is click on apply and ok to save the changes and then you will restart your PC. Afterwards just check if the problem still persists. However, as an alternative we highly recommend you to try out Restoro which is an app that specializes in scanning and repairing any issues with your Windows operating system faster than you think. At the same time Restoro also repairs damage caused by malware which is a great plus in functionality. So make sure to check out the link in the description below. And that's it, super simple isn't it? Of course if you enjoyed this video make sure to hit the like button and as usual try to subscribe to our channel. Thank you.